Hey everybody, Krug here. Welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play Quantum Break. We are here at the Bradbury swimming pool and our brother Will has uh, hidden here something and yeah, we now have to follow Beth and Amy also is joining us. But let's first have a look around. There's no way in over here. That something would be hidden. Find another way in. Key doesn't fit. Okay. Oh, well, let's have another way in. Uh, what do you have to say? You okay? I just checked the news reports, and Monarch is being heralded as a hero. No, I'm not okay. Because if I had just refused to make that confession, then you'd be dead. Somebody else would have done it. Doesn't make it easier. Any ideas how to get inside? The whole building's falling apart. There's got to be an opening somewhere. And we will find it. And we already have seen something. What do we have here? Assassin's Creed. I think I found a way in. And here's another Cronon source. Nice. Mm, let's check. Now we have four avail available. And. Okay. I will purchase this here. Here. We have to climb over here. Yes, <coughs> What is it? There were others taken from the university. Friends of mine. What happened to them? Should be released by now. Monarch convinced them the same thing they convinced everybody else. That what Monarch did at the university was necessary to protect them from... From Jack. Yeah. Guessing your little video on the news helped with that. No offense. Jesus. They have no idea what happened. No, they don't. Whoa. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away.
Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Okay. Let's play this. We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. I'll find Come you on, on the well, go. What do you want me to find here? We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. I'll find you on the countermeasures completely. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Uh oh. Truck addict. You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? Bradbury swimming pool deed, Will. Uh. I put all I put all of your paperwork regarding the purchase of the Bradbury swimming pool in this folder. I knew you'd lose track of the documents otherwise. I've made sure that the purchase can't be tracked back to funds from your research grant. I don't know what you're up to and it's not my business to ask, but we've known each other. Uh, long enough uh, for me to say this. I trust that you know what is best for you, but I can't pretend that I am not concerned. Your career is showing so much promise and your recent actions feel like a drastic turn in a direction I can't begin to, under to understand. I keep my promise and haven't told Jack or anyone else about this. But he's worried about you, even if he doesn't know how to show it. Jack hasn't heard from you in the, in months. He needs you, your attorney and friend, and friend uh, Alison Cunningham. March 29th, 1999. $12,000 moving bill. He must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Mm-hmm. Client's name, William Joyce, special instructions, extremely delicate boxes. Contents are confidential, packed boxes, not to be inspected, pick up and drop off only. 17 trucks loads over the course of 17 days. Whoa, this is a lot of... A lot of material. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... Wait, he's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will re-emerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for... Five minutes, took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. Okay, the machine is warming up again. Should be able to activate test number two in around about five minutes and 15 seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past, which means that he will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the other... Holy shit. Holy shit, it worked. This... this is clear proof that it's... Uh, what, I'm, what I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, meet future you. Okay, so he, or he already had this machine in 1999. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? It looks like so. 
first chrononaut was inside this box, but uh, yeah, of course now the box is empty. A lot of time has passed. Let's first play this here. here all right that's it so here's nothing more Let's see Let's see anything more Working on it. Okay. Let's first let them in. Hey, Jack. You gonna unlock this door for us? Of course. Yeah, just hold on. All right. Let's take a look around. Down here. Nice work. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. 2010. What was that? Wilder, I'm addressing this video. You recorded that for me in 2010. I my workshop, but I couldn't just the leave fuck? it there. I went back to get it. You said the countermeasure is gone. It's a disaster zone. The countermeasure is not good. Gone. Take we need to figure this out. Shit. Let's keep looking. Safe. Empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future. Depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. Help me push this out of the way. Okay, let's push it. 
Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. Uh, by the way, where's Amy? I... Here, Amy, come. Did you find something? Paint. And it's still wet. I think someone was here recently, Jack. You may want to stay here until we make sure it's safe. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. No diving, no jumping in the shallow end, diving platforms at your disposal at the end. Yeah. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. And here are these uh, lights everywhere, so yeah, it's quite sure that someone was here. Haha, <laughs> next one. Next Cronon source. with us again. Let's press the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. Okay. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um, explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. You must have hit it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. Okay, core controls. Where are they? So, what do we have here? Okay. Gotta figure out where to start. Where are the core controls? Remember core control... Uh, core converters? Um, put flow... Oh, the core controls might be... Somewhere at the center, but let's... Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. Physicist on the rise article. Riverport physicist on the rise. Uh... June, June the 4th in 1997. Uh, Dr. Choice and Dr. Meyer became household names earlier this year when their paper on the proposed existence of a chronon field became one of the most hotly debated theories in the quantum physics community since, uh, since 
the Higgs boson. William Joyce, born and raised in uh, Riverport, wasn't satisfied uh, with... Anybody check out this map? No, It looks not like yet. he labeled where everything is. Yes. Um, and raised in Riverport, wasn't satisfied with uh, simply being a part of the discussion and decided to actively search for proof. Proof. His uh, proposed research project led him obtaining the highly prestigious uh, Harold Steinberg Fund with an estimated value of $150,000. Dr. William Joyce is officially the youngest uh, recipient of the Harold Steinberg hey, Research yeah. Grant to Where date. Yes, I will check it out later. Uh, while, this, uh, while the specifics of... While the specifics of his research proposal remains confidential, it is likely that Joyce aims to demonstrate clear proof of the so-called Meyer-Joyce field. Yes. Uh, as well as potential applications for the manipulation of this uh, field. Indeed. Uh, a research timeline has been established with milestones that point to early 1999 as the period when his, this research has uh, will be ready for public unveiling. We will continue to follow William Joyce's story as part of our Riverport Rising series. So, anything else around here? Here's something. Ah, oh, this we will use later okay what do you have to say hey Amy hey what is this a plan I don't think you believe me uh, in the past two hours I've learned that monarch is a secret paramilitary it's a time machine okay I'll compartmentalize that with everything else that shouldn't make sense yes do so yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's first have a look around over there. There's a lot of additional stuff. William Joyce, where are you? To Beth Wilder. Our Beth. Uh, Beth. The time has arrived, it's here. Everything you warned me about is about to come to fruition. Please give me a sign that you're still out there. Put, uh, put my mind at ease. Tell me you have the countermeasure. I'm losing my mind over here. I spent years trying to convince myself that you were wrong all, the, all this time and that I built the countermeasure for nothing. I try to move on, pick up the pieces, but now I have seen the proof. That you were wrong all this time. This uh, sounds and somehow like Beth uh, traveled back into past and told him about this countermeasure device that it is necessary to build. Uh, yeah. This sounds a little bit like that. Paul Zarin brought me in to advise on an experiment at the university. They've built it. They've built another time machine, almost an exact a replica of my own design, but with, a, with key flaws in the calculations. Just like you said, if they activate this machine, then the fracture will occur. Ah, okay. How is this possible? How have they followed my design so closely? Somebody's been watching me all the time, haven't they? Somebody is orchestrating this. All of it. I'm being followed. At first I thought it was paranoia, but it's true. A man has been watching my every move. I secretly took his photo, ran a search. His name is Lime Burke. Okay. 
He works for the security division of Monarch Solutions. I first noticed it a weeks ago, but this could have been going on for years. What does he want? What uh, does he know? How is he connected to this? I need answers. I don't know how I can trust anymore. I don't know who else is involved, what they want, why. I need to hear from you. I need to know that I'm not alone in all of this. If what you have, if what you once told me is true, then the one onset of the fracture may be inevitable. But I can't simply stand by and allow it to happen. Not until I know the countermeasure is safe. To Beth Wilder from uh, William Joyce. Uh, I've seen it. The cause of this fracture exists. It's here. Are you still out there? Beth Wilder. From the, to Beth Wilder. Mm. I've given up hope that you're still listening. I'm not sure why I'm writing this. Maybe to get some closure. You changed uh, the course of my life when you entered it. I spent over a decade devoted to your cause. I sacrificed every relationship I had, pushed away everyone I love, all in the name of a lie. There is no threat coming. There was, there never was. I have to force myself to believe this. It's the only way to move on. It's the only way to pick up the pieces and start over. This is goodbye. You changed the course of... Yeah, maybe then Beth uh, came back to future again. And uh, so she could not react to all his writing. Uh, to Beth Wilder from William Joyce. Where are you? It has been a year. I still haven't heard anything. You know where to find me. Hello? The number you gave me is now disconnected. Where are you? I can't sleep. Please call me. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Fuck, call me, email me, something. I'm freaking out, still trying to call you. Uh, where are you? Have you taken it? It's not safe uh, in the open. You don't understand the power of this device. I dialed the number you gave me in case of emergency. You aren't answering what is going on. It's gone. The countermeasure is gone. What happened? Call me immediately. Okay, uh, July the 5th. And and the last email from 2016. Let's have a look here. Countermeasure schematics. Okay. What do we have here? Time machine schematics. Here's a lever to pull. And yeah, guys, in the next episode, we try to get this uh, thing here running. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you tomorrow. Please like, subscribe, and have a good time. Bye bye.